everybody! Welcome to another episode of SGTVA. That's Super Game Talk Video Alpha. I'm your host, Claus Murder Bear Vanderkill, and of course, this is the show where we like to look at some of the video games over at IndieVideoGames.com. And we like doing it, and we're on episode 49, almost to 50, so like, almost there, man. And as we like to start every show, we like to check in with Quackers. He's supposed to be checking out who's been using the hashtag SGTVA, and he's also supposed to be finding out who threw that banana at Wardy all those episodes ago. Um, I'm sure he's done one of those things, but uh, we'll have to check in with him and see what's going on. Hey, Quackers, you got a report for us, man? As the host of next episode, I get the host episode 50. We had a deal. Da, 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 da. Yeah, but, like, you're still supposed to be looking for, like, who threw that banana at Wardy. We said, like, you had to do that. Oh, uh... Ah, shoot. Uh, Doc did it. Doc threw the banana at Wordle. Aw, oh, come on, man. You can't just be like, oh, Doc did it. Like, gah, I figured you wouldn't do it. Fine, you don't believe me? Whatever, man. Just the red and full. Um, but first, hashtag SDTBA, let's go! Trek Nexus hands flag all the ICs the world says. SGTV, you can't escape the Crackers Inquisition. He will find you. And that's true, you know, I will totally find you. And they weren't even, like, trying to advertise a game or anything. They were just like, you can't escape Crackers. I'm like a phenomenon now, you guys. I totally caught the the bunny that threw that uh, banana. And now catch you. Mega's game says... Preparing the bad guys! Wishless down steam, and they got a link to you, and a bunch of hashtags. And we got a picture of his dad, who's like, Hey, I might be from South Park, maybe, I don't know, but I got all these weird things in my eyeballs. Maybe I'm doing a lot of drugs or something. He's got a sweet beard there, dude, so, uh, you know, keep rocking that beard. You know, I just realized I've been reading some, like, old tweets, but I don't care, there's a hashtag, whatever. As long as they use the hashtag, I feel like I can just read these tweets. Like from my favorite game ever, Poop Slinger. Oh man, Poop Slinger is so cool. Uh, Poop Slinger DLC 1 trailer coming soon, but this is like three years ago, so it's probably already there. So go get Poop Slinger. <laughs> Poop Slinger is so good. Well, that's all the hashtags we got for this week, man. Uh, I'm gonna host the next episode. We let it do. You know, we're gonna see about that, cause like, I asked you to figure out who threw that banana warty and you didn't, but like, we did make a deal. Uh, Alright, well, let's look at a video game on IndieVideoGames.com. Hey everybody, it's time for an impromptu review, and uh, I'm gonna do this review on Misk, a tiny tale by Tinyware Games. Um, experience a heartfelt adventure with Buddy and Bag Boy, two tiny robots made from miscellaneous items. Oh, I get it now, okay. Um, hop through each chapter, meeting a quirky cast of characters, all while collecting cogs and items to help bots around you. Misk is a return to classic platformers with a tiny robot twist. Ah, they look cute. They're little robots made out of junk. Um, I can watch some of this video. It's a little long though, so I may have to skip around. Tiny where he embark on a heartfelt adventure in a playground. 
a journey that makes us feel less small. I don't, I don't want to feel small. Wow, these are really good graphics though. Look at all this stuff. Well, it's a robot. It runs and he collects the uh, cogs, I guess, and he just, wow, this is really cool. This is really 3D and the little robots running in a, like kind of a sandbox or like a junkyard. Look at him go! Wee! And it's a story about helping others, like the guy with the cape and the little robot. And he goes, oh yeah, here I have a thing! Okay, here you go! A tale that celebrates difference. Man, this is too cute. Uh, I can't take it. Oh wow. My kind of game when there's a duck. Oh, well, like duck though. And a raccoon named Garth. I don't know, I want to watch the whole video, but I can't. Misk, a tiny tail, wishlist on stream. Key features, a classic 3D platforming fun return. Yay! A stunning, colorful visuals built from the ground up. Yeah, they look really good. Uh, find and collect cards to open new chapters. Discover and help a wide range of unique characters across your journey. Uh, jump into underground platforming challenges to test your skills. And explore the world in adorable costumes found in each chapter. Spend your collected nuts at the can-do stores across each chapter. Misk, a tiny tale by Tinyware Games gets 5,000 points! Wow! I really want to play this game, but we gotta go back to the show. And now as a part of the show, we like to check in with Doc. He likes to tell us all the, you know, updates going on at IndieVideoGames.com. All right, Doc. Um, hey, so, like, Quacker said you threw that banana at Wardy, like, is that actually true? Because I don't believe it at all. Yeah. Yeah, I threw that banana at Wardy. Why? What? Uh, you threw the banana at Wardy? Why? Oh, well, like, you were talking about how you wanted Quackers to be on his best behavior and all that. Then he mentioned he was going to, like, you know throw bananas at frogs or something, and I just figured, you know what, you'll blame him if I do it, so, uh, yeah, then he wouldn't get to host episode 50, and, uh, everything would just continue as normal, but, uh, I guess I would have got away with it, too, if it wasn't for you literally asking me this question right now. You know, that actually makes, like, total sense. Huh. Huh. What the I knew it. I knew you did it. Whoa, wait a minute. How did I get in here? I didn't know I could just, like, pop in the dock segment, too. Oh, man. I'm gonna start doing this more often. Yeah, um, I'm gonna check on the security and make sure you can't just do this again. Yeah, we'll see about that, you, uh, banana throwing bunny guy. Like, you did it, man. You should be, like, fired or something. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. Ugh. Ugh, that was weird. Uh, well, I don't have any side updates for you this week, Claus. Uh, back to you. All right, thanks, Doc. Ugh. Man, there's all sorts of weird stuff going on around here today. Ugh. You know what? Let's just look at another video game on IndieVideoGames.com. Yeah. It's time for an impromptu review, and I'm going to do an impromptu review on Tierra Mystery Point and Click Adventure by M9 Games. All right, well, this is a mystery puzzle adventure inspired by hidden object escape room games. I don't really know what that is. I better go like Google that or something and figure out what that is, but uh, maybe we can watch this video and uh, maybe they'll tell us too, because uh, I've never been to one of them uh, escape rooms. I just usually just bust through a wall if I want to, you know, get somewhere. So, anyway, let's check out the video. Ah! That was scary. Uh, Tierra! Tierra. And 
the jungle. There's a door, or the ghost door, though, because there's a some grass and a fence and a, and, a, and a gate. Can you unopen the gate? That's the mystery. Gotta open the gate. M9 gate. I was hoping to learn something, but I can't say that I learned what this game is about, you guys. Oh yeah, they got like, you know, words and stuff. Okay, let's do this. Uh, recently, you have been taking life a little easier. You know what? I have. After your recent adventure to the island of Ayuda and the discovery of the mystery treasure, the hiking and puzzle solving has taken its toll. The journey had been tough, and you thought a more sedate walk through the woodland area, more locally, would aid in your recovery. However, on following a downloaded orienteering map, uh, whew, it's tough words, uh, you soon discover mysterious buildings and puzzling locations not listed on the map. Oh, it's a bad map, I guess. You know, maybe you should uh, pay a little extra to get the better map. Uh, your inquisitive nature kicks in, and you decide to investigate further to see where these strange pathways lead and what secrets the mystery buildings may hold. Tierra is a first-person point-and-click graphic puzzle adventure, similar to games you may have played in the 90s, or similar to a virtual escape rooms you may have played. Uh, I, don't, I can't say I did either, guys, yeah, sorry. Um, a simple gameplay interface consisting of the world that you explore and an inventory panel you can collect, combine, and use items you find along the way to solve puzzles. Maybe it's like that game, you ever play that game like Shadowgate? That's a good game. Uh, maybe it's like that, but yeah, kind of a clicky, pointy, and it was in the 90s. Okay, look, look, it's all vague, man. I kind of remember what was going on in the 90s, but uh, yeah, it was something about a uh, clicking down a thing and you use like a torch light thing. Anyway, Tierra Mystery Point and Click Adventure by M9 Games. You get 5,000 points. That's pretty cool. All right, you know, I got to try this out. I got to like, I got to get used to this kind of like genre of game because, you know, I can't say I'm not familiar, but I want to know. So uh, I'll do that. Anyway. Back to the show. And now is the part of the show where we like to check in with Wardy. He's uh he's looking at all those announcements that you've been posting over at IndieVideoGames.com. Wardy, what you got for us, man? Thank you, Mr. Murder Bear. Okay, let's see who made an announcement. Yay! Okay, here we go again. Mirror's brush demo available now. Uh, click the link below to go to their demo. And then they have the link, so, um, yeah, probably easier to just click that link, but I can't click it right now. But I think we talked about this game on other episodes of the show, and it looked really cool, so you guys should probably click that link, okay? Dracula, the RPG alpha demo available now. Try our alpha demo. Feedback is welcome. You should... Try the alpha demo and then give them feedback because they say it's welcome, so you know, maybe you should just do that. Starship Simulator! The first proper teaser video for Starship Simulator, which is a collection of very early alpha footage arranged to fit our new main theme music. Uh, I don't have the video here, I can't show you, but I think you could click that link and then you could watch the video. Well, that's all the announcements we have for this week. Uh, back to you, Mr. Murder Bear. Well, everybody, that about wraps it up for what turned out to be a really weird episode of SGTVA. Uh, well, like I, uh, like I promised Quackers, he'd be hosting episode 50, so uh, you won't see me next time, but, well, you'll see me, but, like, I won't be standing, like, you know, over here and everything. But, uh, anyway, well, um, this is Claus Murder Bear Vanicule saying see ya sometime. Bye. Man, I can't believe Doc threw that bunny out already after all. Uh, it's like a lucky guess. Like, you guys actually think Quackers did like any investigation whatsoever? I don't think he did. I think he like, just like, you know, I still kind of think he did it. Like, I don't think Doc actually did it. Well, he said he did it. It's, that doesn't like, like, you know, seem like that. Man, I'm so confused. Uh, I was going to take a nap. See you guys next time. Ugh. Probably should pack up all my sandwiches and get them out of here, too. I don't want quackers eating them next week. <laughs>